Peter, can you just spell, get, tell us your, your precise title, and if you could spell, just spell your name. Uh, sure, it's Peter, and the surname, the, sur the surname is uh, Doroshenko, D as in David, O-R-O-S-H-E-N-K-O, and I work at the Pinchuk Art Center. Are you the director? Uh, I'm the artistic director, yes. Artistic director, yes. okay. I just want to make sure when we put this up on TV that they're labeling you. It's fine. You have an impressive resume. <laughs> Before oh. coming to the Art Pinchuk Center, you have an impressive resume. Oh, did you see my CV? Hmm? Did you see my CV? Mm -hmm. or? Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. um, please tell us about uh, Jorgen Teller and why you chose him for uh, this project um, at Pinchuk Art Center. Well, Jorgen is somebody who works between both fashion and fine art. Mm -hmm. photography and he doesn't differentiate between the two of them and so I was interested in somebody that could add another dimension to what it was to be Ukrainian mm -hmm. and he was one of the three I selected that weren't Ukrainian mm -hmm. um, there was already a little bit of an overlap of his interest in the East uh, working with models from Russia from Ukraine and so there was a very very loose connection but uh, for the Venice Biennale, uh, I was really interested in bring, having him um, do something very specific, very new, and very fresh, which I think he definitely did. Can you tell us uh, more about Venice Biennale and what it, it exactly is? Well, the Venice Biennale is basically uh, held every two years uh, in June, and it's really a snapshot of what's happening uh, in contemporary art today. Mm -hmm. um, so there's good years, there's bad years, but it's definitely a snapshot. Mm -hmm. And um, one could get, take the temperature of where things are heading, uh, or have had it for the last two years. Uh, there's always a theme for the general like, exhibition, and then different nations have pavilions to showcase what mm -hmm. uh, they have in terms of their artistic talent, um, along with these kind of larger themes uh, on the Biennale grounds. Mm -hmm. you move just one inch this way? Sure. Uh, back to the exhibit, the Ukraine. What does it say about Ukraine as a nation, as a cultural uh, nation? Well, I think uh, nothing, everything is a, is a very quick read in today's world, uh, but that's not always the case. Uh, I think with Ukraine, it has a very deep history. Uh, actually a very sad history mm -hmm. and uh, up until its independence in the early 90s um, it's been able to uh, rediscover itself mm -hmm. and to take pride from within that hasn't happened in a in hundred years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think the exhibition that we see here is once again a very small sliver of that rediscovering what it is um, it's also an emerging kind of nation. Mm -hmm. It's a booming nation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, something that we only read about in the paper, but it's definitely happening there. And it, it sparks a different kind of a, uh, an energy mm -hmm. that doesn't exist in, in, uh, in the West. So what is, it, uh, what is this exhibit saying being uh, shown in New York City, you know, the center of art, contemporary art, you know, culture. Yeah, well, this exhibition is basically, uh, I think, for, for Jorgen, a, a summary of what he found uh, both in his work, a continuation of his work, what he found some new things uh, that he discovered when he went to Ukraine, both at our invitation and on his own. Um, and then also uh, a, a kind of a narrative of what is happening there. So it's, I think, the combination mm -hmm. of all three things, like a torch, it's just mm -hmm. layered, mm -hmm. full of information. Mm -hmm. And it's for us, the viewer, to discover mm -hmm. what, how much of it do we want to mm -hmm. uh, partake in. And so it could be a very, very fast uh, look, or it could be something really deep and very um, 
uh, very focused. But it's putting Ukraine, you know, as something as a subject to talk about on an uh, international level. Oh, okay. yes. I mean, uh, Ukraine's been in the headlines for the last two yes. years, mm -hmm. but not so much on the cultural component. But I think this is, this really? adds to yeah. that mm -hmm. kind of cultural component that exists both in Kiev and other cities. And here it is, you know, a summary by a German artist living in the mm -hmm. UK. Um, and that shows you that the world is becoming totally globalized. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And tell us about uh, Pintrix Art Center. What is it trying to show to the world and more detail what it is? The Pintrix Art Center is the probably largest uh, private institution um, in Eastern Europe and possibly in Europe. And uh, what it focuses in on is really um, putting artists on the pedestal or on the plinth and really giving uh, the people of Ukraine the opportunity free of charge mm -hmm. to go see some of the best contemporary art in the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, the exhibits that we've organized are on the, on the highest level that you could only probably find in York or Los Angeles or mm -hmm. London. Mm -hmm. And they're in Kiev. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, 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 it's about changing the way uh, Ukrainians look at, at, at the future, that the future isn't so scary anymore, mm -hmm. that actually it's quite funny and it could be uh, very serious and it could be actually quite beautiful. And I think that's what the Pinchuk Art Center tries to do is to, to uh, work on, on helping Ukrainians modernize themselves mm -hmm. um, and, and to feel comfortable in that process. Okay.